Hey, here we are. Happy Monday. Monday. Let's start off with God's word, huh? Hey, let's make a good confession this morning. Let's say, I am blessed. The blessing of the Lord is my inheritance. Amen? The blessing of Abraham is my inheritance. I want to talk to you this morning about why getting prayers answered is easier than you think. It's easier than you think. People struggle so much to get their prayers answered. It's, oh, Pastor Jim, please help. You know what? Here, here's the deal. Before we start, though, I, I want to pray over you. I want to say that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge. You need the spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge to get a hold of this. Amen. Now, let me just say, we all know, or at least I do, I know, there's only one prayer God will answer. That's prayer of faith. Any other prayer gets unanswered. Totally ignored. That's, isn't that awful? Huh? Isn't that, it, but they do. You know, so many people believe that they can just pray about anything and God will answer in his own sweet time. God will answer when he's ready to. God will answer when he thinks you're ready. Any, any excuse. All these are is excuses for unbelief. Amen. Anybody who says, talks about God's timing is making an excuse for their unbelief. God's timing is right now. Right now. Amen. God doesn't make you wait. Now, getting prayers answered is easier than you think. I'm going to give you two examples. Two examples of prayers that if you're watching me, I guarantee you, you have had two prayers answered immediately. And you may be Maybe you haven't even thought about this. Number one. Now, people are so willing to wait for God to answer prayers. But there's been two prayers you've prayed that have been answered immediately. Huh? Are you ready for this? Number one. When you prayed for salvation and you received Jesus as your Savior, how long did it take God to save you? Did God save you when, his time, when the timing was right? Did God say, now go back and sit down and let me think about this. And if I feel like you're ready for this, I'll save your soul. Huh? Did God do that? So, Pastor Jim, no. When, when you pray for salvation, God saves you right away. Oh, are you sure about that? Are you 100% sure about that? You are, aren't you? Say, Pastor Jim, I know God saves me or saves anybody, the minute, the second they pray for salvation. Okay, I'll give you that. I agree with you. God will save you the split second you ask him to. Those that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. We could add a word there, instantly. Instantly. God never says, let, let me think about this. We're going to have a meeting up here and we're going to get back to you. Eventually. I'll let you know. Huh? Can you imagine that? The, the preacher says, okay, everybody that wants to get saved, 
come on down. So 10 people go down the aisle. And they all pray to receive Jesus and they pray for salvation. And the preacher says, okay, now go on back to your seats and we'll just see when God moves. We'll see when it might be his will. If it's his will, he'll save you. If it's not his will, he may make you wait. But God's timing is perfect. You go, there's something wrong with this preacher. That's a prayer that you had answered instantly. I think we can all agree. Another prayer that people get answered instantly that you may not have even thought about it, but how about the prayer for forgiveness? It tells us in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness in his own timing. When the ti Let me read that. I'm sure it says that. It's, it says right there in that verse, in his own timing. 1 John 1, 9, I got my Bible upside down. 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness in his own timing. Right there, it says that. Let me see. If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Well, you know what? Doesn't say anything in there about God's timing. Hmm. Say, Pastor Jim, when you repent for your sins, God, God forgives you immediately. Oh, do you mean he answers that prayer immediately? Yes, he does every time, immediately. Oh, why is that? Well, because when you pray for forgiveness of sin, you actually believe God will forgive you. When you pray for salvation, you actually believe you're going to get saved. Works immediately. Why then would you be willing to wait to be blessed? Why then would you be willing to wait to be healed? If you're not willing to wait for salvation and you're not willing to wait for forgiveness, why in the world would you wait for your healing? Is, is God going to answer your prayer for salvation and forgiveness immediately, but make you wait for healing? <clears throat> Does that make any sense? Why would God answer your prayer for salvation and for forgiveness immediately and make you wait for forgiveness? He wouldn't. I mean, you need to think about this, people. You need to think about this. If God will answer your prayer for salvation and answer your prayer for forgiveness immediately, he'll answer every other prayer for him immediately too. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> All you have to do is just believe you receive. When you prayed for salvation, did you believe you received your salvation? You did. When you pray for forgiveness, if you've made a mistake, do you believe you're forgiven? Yes, you do. And are you? Yes. Absolutely. God doesn't make you wait one second for forgiveness. He doesn't make you wait one second for salvation. 
Why would he make you wait for healing? I'll give you the answer. He doesn't. No. When the prayer of faith is prayed over you for your healing, I'm telling you what, your body begins to heal immediately. When Jesus spoke over the fig tree and he cursed the fig tree, they didn't see anything happen, did they? But when they came back the next day, the fig tree had dried up from the roots. The reason is because when Jesus spoke to the fig tree, the roots immediately began to die. I'm telling you what, when I speak over sickness and I tell that evil spirit to come out and that body to heal, what I say begins to happen immediately. That body changes directions immediately. Now, sometimes, you know, healing uh, is progressive. Sometimes we had a woman last year her eyes were, she was stone blind, could not even tell when it was day or night. She was healed in two minutes, her eyes opened. But it was progressive. Her eyes did not go boom and open. They opened a little bit at a time over a period of two or three minutes until she could see perfectly. I had another person, eyes opened a little bit at a time. 30 days later, they could see perfectly. Another man, his eyes opened in three days. Cancer. Many times, you know, guy was brought to us on uh, wearing his pajamas, dying of cancer. Laid him down, propped him up. Spoke over him, nothing happened. But an hour later, he was up walking around. Hour later. I'm telling you, what I spoke over him began to take effect immediately. When I pray the prayer of agreement with you, I'm telling you what. Your answer is right there, right now. Amen? It doesn't, it doesn't take God a week to send the answer. No, no. Your answer is there immediately. God answers every prayer when prayed in faith immediately. You don't have to wait. You need something? Go to my website, increasenow.com. Get a hold of me. I'll pray with you. We'll get it for you. It will be on the way immediately. I'm telling you what, when I pray for people to get jobs, that job is coming at you. That job is coming at you. Keep your mouth shut. The minute you open your mouth and start wondering when this is going to happen and when that's going to happen, I'm telling you what, everything slows down. Your, your words of doubt and unbelief will actually stop what is happening. When, when so many people have trouble getting healed because they won't keep their mouth shut. The people who, who I speak over and they just lay there and keep their mouth shut, I'm telling you, they're the ones that get healed. The people say, Pastor Jim, when's this going to start working? And when am I going to feel better? And when's the pain going to go away? And when do you... Those are the people that struggle for healing. Next thing you know, I'm speaking over them again. Because they, they, they ruin it. Be careful. Keep your mouth shut. Because I'm telling you what, once I pray over you, once I speak over you, that's the end of it. I'm telling you that's the end of it. Sometimes God will heal you in spite of yourself. Many times he doesn't. Amen. You got to watch your word. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Partner with this ministry. Help us, you know, support this ministry. Because when you do, you become a partner with this ministry and you have unlimited access to me. Hey, I am out of time. But God will answer your prayer instantly. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Get a hold of me. We will get your prayers answered. And remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills.